feel this is like symbolic for starting the day. Morning all. It is Wednesday and I just realized I subconsciously just kind of do that with my hair. I think I'm just like aware of um just my bed hair even though I had a haircut recently. I think it's gonna be a R&R &R day, probably working on the discussion for the 3rd of January as well, so that means that's in the can. And one thing I didn't mention in yesterday's vlog, it happened afterwards, after I edited it and actually uploaded it. Uh, Philly actually um, taught me how to tie a knot and you're probably wondering that I'm 32 and I don't know how to tie a knot. As in, like, I can tie a knot, but not like a bow. I think that's more specific. I've gone my whole life not knowing how to tie a bow. And it was done with those Lave Cooking Cookies. And no, I didn't even get one as a reward. That's another voiceover in the can. Surprise, after a few days, I'm actually having to go out. Um, had to like break off from doing some work. I managed to get a, a script written for the discussion. And I'll record that later today, but I'm off now doing some errands for Philly and seeing how it's been like, because it's been raining again, surprise. Fortunately, it's not raining now. Now I can actually drive when it's not absolutely wet and I have a working wing mirror, which is absolutely splendid. I've got to do a triangle because I actually learned this from a plugin from World of Warcraft like years ago. And it was one of those plugins where you actually have the most efficient directions for quest giving and taking and delivering. So you start off at the furthest point and point, then you work your way back to where you are now. Or just the most efficient way so it's the quickest time. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to the furthest point and then working my way back home. Back from all doing all the errands, and I'm now treated myself to a Tesco turkey emmental and avocado pretzel roll. So with that, that's the last discussion video I have to make before I go to Japan. I'm pretty much up to date. Now we just got to get R and R done. YouTube, go home. You're drunk. I definitely think there's something wrong here because you know that's pretty fine. And when you go to the actual comments, so the statistics here. Yeah, what if Vegeta celebrated Christmas? You get 123 likes and nearly 100 comments, only 51 views. What is wrong with this picture? And this is after me taking the other one down and then re-uploading it, because I thought this was a case of YouTube going like, hey, do, do, uh, with suppressing it for some reason. Ugh, oh, YT, I don't understand you sometimes. I try and do my best, but... Uh. So we got some of this and... Yeah, it's coming along, just kind of like laying it all down. There's no background, but I feel like it's good use of my time to try and at least get it laid out somewhat. But yeah, this appears like in the second half of the episode. I quite like it. But for some reason, my computer didn't like it because it just balked. And this tends to happen a lot more than I'd like. You see, it has something to do with my DAC or my digital audio converter box, like my Focusrite. <sighs> I might have to look into replacing it because this has just been bugging me for the last three years. I don't know why. Seems like I'm not the only one that's having troubles. Oh hey, so like, Mysterious Girlfriend X got mentioned by Sentai Filmworks, so I responded with an, ah, I see you're an account with class. They responded. So naturally I responded in kind. So today we're just cooking a simple stir fry and trying to do this with one hand is not exactly easy. But it's doable. Look, we got some chicken in there, mix some, some teriyaki, soy sauce, tamarind sauce. Now we've got some bean sprouts, um, just some leftover tomatoes and spring onions, as well as like a, I'm cheating a little bit, a mixed veg stir fry thing. Basically, just using any veg or anything like that we've got in the fridge before we go to Japan. Yeah, so that means we haven't got to throw away too much. Yeah, there we go. That looks like a stir fry. Bag of presents! Philly and I, we decided to open most of our presents before we go to Japan because honestly, Japan's the ultimate gift. And to be honest, we are probably going to find some really cool stuff out there as well. So we will treat ourselves, won't we? Yes. Okay, I have no idea what... Oh, I think it's for you or is it for me? Uh, I don't know because mum... What's the rest of the bag? Um, These are presents... Oh, uh, Laura hasn't said, Mask hasn't said. Oh, this These is are presents from his mum and dad. 
now this one is from my parents. Th these are, are all from my parents to both of us. Yeah. This entire bag is for me. Yay! Dun, dun, dun. It's nice wrapping paper. Lovely wrapping paper. Um, Ooh! Link. I mean, if that was from anybody other than your parents, that might be a little bit rude. And I know I'm 32, but I still like them, dang it. So there's that. But if your friend got you them, would you be insulted? Well, it's a friend gave them to me. Yeah. Like kids no. at school, if they gave these as gifts, it would be like an insult. I know stuff. what they mean. But kids we know that you've asked for these because these are the ones you want. So. No, the kids would go and say, what are you trying to say? Yeah. You know, exactly. but no, I, I take it as a... Yay! Chocolate orange! Terry's chocolate orange. This is a tradition that mum and I have, and Billy's now been brought into the fold for that one as well. We both get chocolate oranges from my mum. Yes. And that's always Well, that's good. a spoiler, because I've not opened mine yet. Two things. Two things. Oh, 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 it's even got a hanger. That's useful. It's marks and spots, but... Ooh, surprise, nice. Surprise, rugby top. Yeah, but I like that one. That's really nice and grey. I like it. Uh, no, I, mean, no, yeah. I like it. Uh, rugby we know tops that most thing. rugby tops normally have horizontal stripes, so I'm liking the... Yeah, and um, the other one... Yeah, this one has one. Oh, that looks nice. Really nice. Oh, wow, that's so cool. That, then your mum picked it. That's really, really good. Yeah. Yay, more clothes. More Pack clothes. them. Oh, look. Oh. I got some bulbs. It got some bulbs. And they're... um. Hyacinth bouquet. Waitrose truffle trio. Oh. Fancy, fancy. Really what? fancy. I didn't get that. Mmm, I got that. I like how Waitrose has become even posher. They're now Waitrose and Partners. It's, I'm guessing that's hand lotion. It does look like lotion to me. And it's my favourite, Molten Brown. Oh, Molten Brown, yeah. Oh, it's delicious rhubarb and rose. Delicious rhubarb and rose. And then we have another one. Oh, that, oh that's, that's like so shimmery. Sparkly. Ooh. And then I think I have a book. It's a crafting guide for the winter months. I will definitely be using that. Yes, Philly is very much into arts and crafts. I love crafts. And then I have these as well, which I think I might go a little safer. Which mm -hmm. is... Dun, dun, dun. A Hobbycraft gift card! Yay! Hobbycraft! Yay! Woo! Spends all my money there, thank you! So, I'm thinking maybe alcohol. Oh, yeah. <gasps> but what is it? Is it a posh bottle of gin? Silent pool gin! <gasps> oh, this is going to be like a Christmas tradition. But very, very grateful. And it is a beautifully flavoured gin. Mm. Oh, my gosh. I think it's... Is it casket? <gasps> and a pen. Is. This is the cat. Now this is really interesting because I saw this print on cat and I think it's cat. Yeah, it is. <gasps> Your brother's awesome because I saw this print and I was like, I really want something with an otter. It was called Otterly Adorable, and he got me a pen and this. He's like, he read my mind. And the pen. He read my mind. Wow. Will did really really well. That's so cool. Yeah, like, and I literally was looking at that the other day. So thank you, Will. All right. Well, there you go. Those are the presents from my folks and Will. I think that's a good note to sign things off on. So I hope you enjoyed that. I've got to get ready for the radio show later on. And just... ASMR. They should add a bit more of that. Just take care, everyone. And once again, one is glad to be of service. <laughs>